If you think the only way to stay in shape is hiking or lifting weights, I'm here to tell you you're wrong. So let's talk about one of my favorite ways to stay in shape and do some cool reviews along the way. How's it going everybody? Josh here with Dedicated Health. And today we're gonna to be going over some of my favorite forms of cardio or just really general fitness. Yes, I love lifting weights. It's one of my favorite ways of staying in shape, but I also really love getting outside and being active. And my personal favorite is hiking. So I thought it'd be fun to not only tell you about hiking, but also do some reviews. So I have a personal goal of hitting every state park in Indiana this year. So far I've visited six and I'm going to give you a breakdown of each of them and future videos. I'll actually be doing an in-person hike vlog video, but for now we're going to start with one of my favorites and that's going to be Brown County State Park. It is beautiful. And I'm going to be breaking down each one of these parks, including this one into three different categories and giving them a total score. So you can kind of decide where you would like to go and experience for yourself. So the parks are going to be broken down into trails, scenery, and activities. So how hard the trails are and what kind of obstacles you're going to face, uh, how beautiful the scenery is and what kind of things you can do at the park besides just hiking. Now, obviously a lot of this is going to be subjected to opinion because everyone's going to like different things. So this is going to be my opinion and you can kind of base it off what you prefer from there on. Now, first off, let's start with a little bit of a backstory about Brown County State Park. It was founded in 1929 and it's often referred to as the Little Smoky Mountains because it's very, very hilly. There's so many ravines, different kinds of things like that that make it feel more like it's a mountain region than it is just a large area. It is also the largest state park in Indiana. It is over 15,000 acres, which means you have plenty of places to explore and get your walking on for a great adventure. And as I'll talk about more later, it's really known for its vistas. These are amazing views, something that you definitely want to check out with the family. It is beautiful. And a lot of people recommend going around fall time when the leaves are changing colors. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I highly recommend checking it out. Now let's go ahead and break down this park into our three categories, trail, scenery, and activities. So I'm going to actually do this a little bit differently because one of the key selling points of this entire park is its scenery. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 for scenery because it is amazing. The views are incredible and there's a lot of times where you're actually going to be at higher altitudes and you can look over the entire park and it is gorgeous in every way. It's really nice early in the morning. You'll even see some fog giving it kind of a mystic look. And I'm sure during the fall, which I haven't personally experienced, but I have seen much footage of, it's going to be absolutely amazing. It kind of looks like you're standing on top of a cliff looking at a sea of trees. It is mind blowingly beautiful and I highly recommend checking it out for that. It gets a solid hard eight, would be more if it wasn't for some stuff that we're going to run into next. Now Brown County would have got higher on scenery because like I said, it, it is just that gorgeous. If it wasn't for the next thing, which is trails, I'm going to break trails up into two things, difficulty and enjoyment. Now difficulty, the higher the number, the more difficult it is. Enjoyment, the lower the number, the less enjoyable it is. So standard rules here, and they're both going to be out of 10. So difficulty, unfortunately, I have to give this a nine and not for the good reasons. So when I think of a rugged trail, I think of obstacles, walking through riverbeds, having to climb over things, maybe some ladders, something along those lines. And the trails we went on, which was two, nine, eight, and seven, all of those say they're the most rugged trails in Brown County. Now they are very rugged but their form of rugged just means up. The amount of up we had to do during these trails was almost ridiculous. There's a bunch of zigzaggy trails leading up the hills. And when you got to the other side and you finally got to the top, yes, you were rewarded with a beautiful view, but the trail back down was a very sudden sharp down. It really felt like the stories that you hear as a kid about your parents have to walk uphill both ways going to school. It was just like that because the downs happened so fast that you just felt like you were going uphill all day long. And we spent a good total of 14 miles at this place. So we were able to experience just about everything it had to offer as far as rugged trails and all of them were this way. I would have liked to see more of the obstacles or riverbeds or going through creeks or something along those lines. And there might have been trails with that, but we weren't fortunate enough to find any. And they were exhausting because you were just going up the whole time. Now, don't get me wrong. I did like this park. It was beautiful 
But because of how difficult the trails were and how little there was to actually climb or keep you engaged, I am going to have to give it a solid three for enjoyment. Because my personal opinion, I would rather have trails that you have to have obstacles with to keep you engaged with the surroundings than just walking uphill at a nonstop pace. Now, number three is ranking this on activities. And this is really where Brown County shines because there is so much you can do here. Now, there's some given things that almost all state parks has to offer, like horseback riding, lodging, camping, fishing, stuff along those lines and trail hiking, of course. Uh, so I'm gonna leave those ones out. I'm gonna focus on what makes it unique. For example, Brown County has a 90 foot fire tower that you are welcome to climb whenever you like to. You can see the entire park from this and it is absolutely amazing and gorgeous. It's definitely one of the key points of this park and I highly recommend checking it out. Next up is the Nature Center. So the Nature Center is something a lot of parks have to offer, but this one had an amazing shop in it where you can actually buy cool souvenirs and different things that help you track your progress through state parks. If you're like me and trying to hit all state parks, it's nice to have a very handy list to make sure you're on the right track. Next up, and something I didn't get to enjoy because I didn't go after Memorial Day, but I will definitely be back to try out, is the water park. They have a full water park in this. They have a full water park at the state park, and it is really nice, judging from the pictures and what I could see from afar. It was really, really well kept, and I'm very impressed with it. I'm definitely gonna be checking that out in the future. Now, last but not least, I mentioned the vistas. There are amazing views at these vistas and they are definitely worth checking out. So much so that there is actually something called the seven vista challenge. So if you go to the state park and you visit all seven of the vistas, you can either drive to them or walk to them, whichever way you would like to do it and take a picture at them. You'll actually receive a sticker called the seven vista challenge sticker. It's really cool. And I highly recommend trying it out just to challenge yourself a little bit. So because of all these amazing things that you can actually do at this park, I'm going to give it a solid eight for activities. There's a lot of cool and engaging things that will keep you and your friends or family that you go with entertained the entire time you're there. So the total scores for each category is gonna be listed right here. Now, I don't want you to think that this is not a good place to go. I highly recommend it. But if you're not an experienced hiker, I would highly recommend going some of the more moderate trails or beginner trails and going more in the fall season so you can focus more on the scenery and enjoy your surroundings versus the rugged trails where you're probably just gonna be out of breath and exhausted. Now, if you're in better cardiovascular shape than I am, you might really enjoy that uphill battle. And it is a great workout, which is part of the reason we like to do it. So you can give or take that which, with what you will, but just to keep in mind, when you go there, you're going up and you're gonna keep going up the whole time. I definitely want you to make sure you try out some of those cool challenges and check out the fire tower though, because they're both amazing. And it's a great place to go to really broaden your horizons when it comes to fitness. Now remember, it's important to keep your fitness style evolving, because if you stay in one place for too long, you're gonna get burnt out, which I talk about in this video here. So doing stuff like this is definitely gonna help. If you enjoy this park review, please go ahead and leave a comment below letting me know and let me know what parks you've been to. Or if you disagree with Brown County and you think it's the best park ever, let me know that too. I'm gonna to be doing more park reviews. Like I said, I'm trying to hit all 25 of them. So if you have any tips or tricks for trails for me to hit in the future, make sure you let me know. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep up to date. We post a video every Sunday at noon. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Until next time, stay dedicated.